Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. This is Jeremiah's J-Man, and J-Man speaks with a quick tutorial on how to upload your YouTube videos. Pretty basic, but uh, sometimes common sense is not common. Let me give you some quick tips and tricks. Uh, you wanna go in and, of course, you got three Ts, titles, tags, and thumbnails. But here, uh, the title is actually an Ask the Experts Anything Meaningful Friday broadcast, but putting 18 Friday in there is not gonna help others to click on it. They're not gonna go, oh my God! 18 Friday, it's so awesome. Uh, so uh, here the title for this one is Prospect or Predator. Doom, doom. Hold on here, I got this. Right, so that title kind of makes you click. Then I have a description of what, what it's about a bit. And then I actually have uh, here in Google Keep, I keep the extra YouTube uh, description that I want. Um, to use every time. So that's, I add that description, extra description onto every single one of my YouTube videos. So it's like, you know, calls to action for different things to different websites that uh, I, I wanna draw people to. You then continue on, you're gonna wanna upload a thumbnail. We've done other videos on this before. Uh, you can use Thumbnail Blaster or even Canva. Uh, I, would, I would recommend Canva Pro is worth the upgrade, but Thumbnail Blaster is the one that we use. It's a one-time purchase. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna go upload thumbnail. I've already created it. It's not gonna be in Movavi Library. It's gonna be in the download section. I'm gonna hit right here, 1280 by 720 is the dimensions that I'm looking for. I hit that and then I come in here. I'm gonna add it to a playlist. Uh, for this one, I don't have, this is gonna be live stream and J-Man's Ed Talks. I'm adding it to two separate playlists. I'm gonna come down a little bit further. No, it's not made for kids. If I was a YouTuber that made content for children, uh, I would hit yes there because uh, that's how they you know, show it to, to kids that, that follow. For people, like you. Hello. for people like my son AJ, who's in the corner here. Um, automatic chapters, this is one of the newer features. If you allow them to create chapters, they kind of try to chop up the content based on when you pause to give people like, let me skip ahead, let me check out different portions of the video, decide whether I like it rather than watching right from the beginning. Uh, now the tags, if you don't see tags automatically in your YouTube video, you gotta go into your profile and set your defaults. These are my default tags for every video that I upload. I'm, then I'm gonna come in here and go, okay, I'm getting rid of real estate photography, video marketing, uh, entrepreneur, listing presentation, how to be a successful real estate agent, cold calling, real estate coaching. Okay, that gives me, now I have 234 characters already filled in. You wanna use the full 500, so I might go realtor safety, router, realtor safety, and then I use vidIQ or TubeBuddy makes suggestions for you. This is the free. If I had the upgrade, it would give me additional suggestions, but I have Realtor Safety video, Realtor Safety Tips 2021. Those are all great suggestions. I then I'm gonna probably add my guest in there, Dave Lagaz. And so on and so forth. Just to, you know, to save time, I'm not gonna go through, but I would go all the way to the 500. Okay, you then wanna come in here. I like to put the video location. Rochester, New York. You put your license and distribution. My default is Creative Commons with attribution, which means if somebody uses it, they have to at least say where it came from. But if you're in the video, I mean, it's not usually a problem either. Pick your category. Uh, comments and ratings, you can set there. Then your other sections are video elements. So here, I'm gonna add an end screen. An end screen is what happens at the end of the video. I want them to do, this is my default. And again, choose whatever you like. Uh, it's gonna be, ask them to like your page and then the algorithm automatically selects the next video for the viewer based on the videos you have uploaded. Um, so if you don't have any other videos uploaded, you better get them uploaded now. The check section is where they check against any kind of copyright or royalty. Um, royalty music that you've used, that you've infringed on. Uh, it'll tell you there if there's any issues. Sometimes I have played like a nine second clip 
of some kind of music and they'll hit me with it. And rather than muting the entire video or taking the entire video down, they'll just say, okay, you can still post it, but you can't make money off this video. So if you don't have tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of subscribers, I mean, you're not making any money anyway, so uh, you'll be okay. Okay, but be careful with that. And then visibility, um, public set as an instant premiere means it will premiere your video on YouTube. That's my default as well, uh, because it'll say this video is about to premiere, just like a movie uh, would, would premiere at the movies. A movie would premiere at the movies. Yes. Okay, do that. And you can actually, like if I hit that, um, I can schedule it to premiere whether I want it to premiere instantly or after the fact. So we still got two hours and six minutes left. But as you come back to the details, I'll finish off here. You can see my actionable SEO score is only 23.3 out of 50. That will get better as I add more of those tags. That's it. I hope that helps you. This is Jeremiah's J-Man Monero with J-Man Speaks. Make it a great day.